Okay, so here's what we're looking at. This is Cubase on the screen. This here is the drum track, and it's going straight across. You can see the different textures here. Like this is one uh, drum loop, and it's uh, little blocks, and they're looping together. What I did was I went on to uh, a website where I found drum loops that I could use, and it doesn't matter if they're public or not because I'm just going to use them just between me and some friends or whatever. And just to get a basic idea of what the song is going to sound like, and it's not even accurate at this point. I uh, strung together a bunch of drum loops, and then I added a guitar and the other guitar and other stuff, and I built up the whole song. And I didn't even care about the criticism or anything like that. So I'm going to show you a screen in Cubase, and it's going to have all the tracks going straight across and all of the automation and everything. So I'm not, going to, I'm not going to use the screen capture program because I like to actually point at the screen. It's quicker that way, and there's so much happening on the screen that it's really overwhelming to look at all of this crap filling up the screen. So let's suppose I wanted to have a song that went on for about four minutes. If you listen to this all by yourself, without any other tracks, it's going to sound really repetitive and it's going to drive you crazy. But that's okay. So let's say um, I got a block here and I'm going to, all this drum beat's going to go four times. And then, uh, just my, my basic thought at this point was I'm going to have this repeat for a while because I want to have something build up and build up and build up and go on and on and on. And I knew at that point that's what I wanted. Uh, I figured. I had no idea what I was going to play at this point, but it didn't matter. So, uh, what I did was um, <clears throat> I started adding my instruments to the drum loop. I made three concept tracks using drum loops and brought them to Dave's studio to arrange a pretty basic idea of how the songs will sound with drums. All I would have to do is play the rhythm guitar parts and Dave will figure out what beats work best. At this point, the whole concept and feel of the song begins to change because Dave is introducing his own drumming style. The concept songs had a fast and sharp and rather chaotic speed metal sound, but Dave's style of drumming is more folkish. It's something scratchy and raw that you might hear in an old Celtic tune. The outcome is different, but it's definitely something we could use for Doombeard. Dave has mics set up for the kick drum and the snare and two overhead mics for each track to be recorded in stereo. So what are you trying Moving to from the concept drum loops to a stereo recording yeah. brought the recording project to a whole new level. Like the first song was so simple that it was basically just uh, two or three different chord progressions that repeated one after another and then at the end of the track uh, it just kept on repeating and repeating and I, was, I knew that I would be having uh, synths and cellos and uh, other orchestra instruments building up and building up. So when you when you look at the foundation of the first song, it was way too easy for Dave to play. And you're like, well, this is, what am I supposed to do? How, how am I supposed to play drums to something so simple? But it actually really worked really well. So what are you doing? Are you adjusting the effects or...? Uh, the second song had about four or five different parts and some uh, heavier, complicated riffs. I was able to pull that off pretty close to the original concept. And uh, again, the drumming changed a little bit, but that's okay because Dave has his own style. Oh, we're adjusting the EQ on the guitars there. He's able to uh, put those through the, his mixer that he has and import them onto his computer and put them onto a, a thumb drive and I was able to bring them back to, to my studio and put them into Cubase and the sound oh, is just phenomenal. The bass and the drums in there.